Thomas Lecour. I won the 2016 Kundal Prize in Historical Literature at McGill University. Um, I teach at the University of California, Berkeley, and I've taught there since the beginning of my career in 1973. Well, the short answer is that it feels wonderful. And winning $75,000 is part of feeling wonderful, but what's really thrilling is to have a jury which is charged with finding a book of literary and social and moral value um, choose my book um, and to um, and choose a book that I've been working on for so long and have been ready to give up on so many times. So it feels like a real, a real vindication of a life's work. I felt from the moment that I was on the long list for the Kundal Prize um, that it was a wonderful affirmation because the Kundal Prize me means something different than other just academic prizes. It means a prize for a book that has literary value, it, that has substantive historical value, um, that speaks to broader cultural and moral issues. And so being on this long list is already a great honor. And then of course getting on the short list is even greater. And winning basically says to me or means to me that some group of, of, of judges, of, who are just distinguished judges, um, think this book fits this, this, um, this brief, this important and almost unique brief. When you're waiting for the final announcement and the drum roll, um, what's going through your mind is, or my mind is obviously, I hope I win, um, but it's a thrill to be here in any case. And so it, psychologically prepare yourself um, for winning on the one hand, but for only a momentary disappointment because it's already wonderful to be on the, on the short list. The advice I would give to people is that, in the first place, you obviously need some discipline. I mean, you're not gonna get writing down unless you sit with your pencil and paper or, desk, or word processor for some amount of time. But on the other hand, I also tell people, don't, um, don't push yourself if nothing is happening. That the really important intellectual work um, is done by the boys in the basement and you're unconscious and you just have to be patient till they tell you um, what you're meant to say. And so if it's not coming, do something else on your project. Read a little bit more, look up some stuff, sketch down ideas, but basically be patient. Mm -hmm.